Hi, my name is Tetra Pakman. I'm a human. I say I am a human and people say that I'm an artist and I'm okay with that. I don't know, it's very hard to say the real motivation for me to, to make art, but it's something that is inside I need to get out. And I think it's my feelings, my perspectives about what's going on around the world. I know that art have, as a tool is a powerful uh, medium to, to express and communicate. And since John, I decide to use it and try to participate, not for me, rather than more for, for us, for everybody. Most of my projects over time uh, are social-based projects, I call them social sculpture, uh, where, where the, the actual result, the piece itself, is not as important as the process. As you can see, uh, behind camera right now there's a bunch of people working hands-on, making the piece happen. And and that's the important part of the, the piece. <laughs> this piece is called Wake Up. It's not a new piece, it's actually an evolution of a project that I started in 2014-15 that is representing the killing curve. Uh, this is a scientific uh, project starting in 1958 that measure um, the concentration of CO2, uh, di carbon dioxide, in our atmosphere. But I'm not a scientist neither, I'm an artist, but that's what I trust in science data. If I do this piece that have just numbers, letters, and more numbers, and be, oh, what are those things meaning? And they are big, bold, and then plus they are going to be 120 like this one. Well, people is going to ask what is going on, and we are going to be able to answer and say thank you for asking. This is the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere in the, mess in the month of December. This is in 2011, sorry. What year is now? Can you remember? 2019. 2019, thank you. I didn't want to make a mistake. I'm from the future. In the other hand, the cheats is a material that represent our privilege uh, that as humans living in this city, in this country, in, in this part of the world we have, because not everybody have a shit to sleep in the night, but we all, and all these shits were swept by privileged people in somehow, and there were dreams there, and rest there, and comfort there, and, and more people came through those moments. And then for me, there's a, a, a energy already there that it's uh, very powerful. And then that's the second part. We are going to hold them in the streets. We are bringing our shit to the streets to make a statement together. This is awesome. It's a week of global action about climate uh, and it's led by youth, kids, high school kids and young people that they deserve a chance. And there's no way that somebody around the world could say, I didn't listen to them because they are being loud and clear. They want a future and we need to do whatever in our hands to help them.